Dorf Romantic is a relaxing puzzle strategy game about building idyllic countrysides one hexagonal tile at a time. If you're familiar with the world of modern board gaming, I would describe this game as being like a solitaire carcassonne. The only real goal in Dorf Romantic is getting the highest score you can before you run out of tiles, and you score points by meeting certain criteria in the design of your rural landscape. Every turn, you take the tile from the top of your stack and place it somewhere on your map connected to at least one other tile. The tiles are hexagonal, and from a gameplay perspective they're more like a group of six different edges, and points are scored for how many of these edges are matched correctly to the map you've already built. For example, placing the grass edge of a tile against a grass edge already on the map scores 10 points. If you match two edges, you score 20 points, three edges, 30 points, and so on, all the way up to scoring 60 points for matching all six edges, at which point you also simply ascend because you are clearly a tile-laying god. This is the turn-to-turn, run-of-the-mill method of scoring points, but the big points in Dorf Romantic come from creating biomes. On the tiles themselves, edges can be connected together, so maybe a tile is half covered in trees, allowing you to connect one tree edge to your existing map, and on a later turn add more trees again, creating a forest that spreads out and spans multiple tiles. These forests, farmlands, and villages that you can make are how you really build your score. Some tiles that you can place will have a bonus mission to use video game language that will score extra points. So maybe a tile wants to be part of a forest with at least 50 trees, or part of a village with at least 12 houses, or maybe to be part of a farmland with exactly 8 fields at the end of a turn. This is where Dorf Romantic starts to get a bit of longer term strategy. Placing tiles is not just thinking about the points that turn, but thinking about how your different areas can expand in the future. These missions are going to guide how you grow your landscape, because not only do they score you 100 points upon completion, they also add more tiles to your stack, giving you even more turns to build an even bigger map and score more points and complete more missions. You will eventually run out of tiles and get a final score, but the more tiles you get to place, the higher that score will likely be. So in Dorf Romantic, you're placing fields, trees, and houses, but just for an extra little kick of complexity, there are also two special features, rivers and train tracks, that require you to be a little bit cautious with how they're placed. The main difference between these tiles and the others is that rivers and train tracks need to be properly closed off, either by creating a loop or placing a tile with an end. So if you place rivers and tracks too close to your villages or forests, you're going to need very specific tiles to fill the gaps that may or may not arrive. This is how Dorf Romantic plays out, and this is how it continues to play out as you expand your landscape tile by tile. So why is Dorf Romantic good? Dorf Romantic is an incredibly relaxing and satisfying game to play. It's got a visual charm similar to that of sandbox town builder Townscaper, but with elements of strategy puzzle gameplay on top of it. But even as a sandbox, I'm sure that Dorf Romantic would have some merit, because this is such a pretty game that sometimes the aesthetic feels worth prioritising over the gameplay. Like placing down a pond in a way that immediately fails the extra mission points, but closes a hole in the map that might have been awkward to fill otherwise, and for me that was a good enough reason to waste a tile, because it made my map look nicer. There are also quality of life features in the visual design, like when you hover over a tile space, any connected groups light up so you know exactly which areas you are or aren't expanding before you click. There's a great flow to Dorf Romantic's gameplay in how easy it is to just play a turn and then another and another. It's relaxing. There's enough strategy to think about and to occupy you, but it's never going to be too deep or too difficult. It's easy to see if something's a great move or a terrible move, and in between that it's hard to do anything that's objectively wrong. Maybe you play something suboptimally, but you won't really know that anyway, because you don't know what's in your stack past the next two tiles. So this is a game that will reward you when you do well, but it's never going to punish you for playing badly. There's a real sweet spot that Dorf Romantic hits in being a game that works as a strategy puzzle board game, and as a relaxing peaceful sandbox frequently at the same time because the point scoring goals of making forests, towns, long flowing rivers, etc. are exactly the sort of features you would naturally want to create anyway. The game currently has an early access tag on Steam, but it's along the lines of the Slay the Spire Factorio approach, 
where the game is complete and polished already, but there are just a few extras like additional language support and a genuine sandbox mode being worked on before the official release. Dorf Romantic was part of the itch.io charity bundle for racial equality last year, although the game didn't have the same level of polish at the time. It was a good game then, and it's a better game now, and it's one that's really hard to stop playing. The effortless gameplay and gorgeous design make it easy to get lost in the ever-expanding picturesque world that you create one tile at a time. Hey, thanks for watching! I recently tried out Dorf Romantic again in its updated state and really enjoyed it, and because it isn't going to be changing drastically between now and its proper release, I thought I'd put out a quick video on the game because it's something a bit different that I think a lot of people will really enjoy. This video is a bit shorter because I actually wrote this in the middle of editing a different video, so that means there'll be another video out soon, and hopefully I'll see you there. Goodbye.